Through the heart of the city of Edinburgh flows the water of Leith, a river which boasts beautiful scenic pathways, local wildlife and a calming nature which provides a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. At the end of the tidal flow lies Coley Park, which has previously been used as a coal depot, a railway yard and for ship repairs. The site is an important blue and green space and access route for the local community. Sadly there is great pressure on the dilapidated space which is now plagued by littering, graffiti and antisocial behaviour. A Water of Leith Trust survey was carried out with 454 locals taking part. 96% demanded to see change, with 40% reporting that they used the park on a weekly basis. New benches, litter bins and street lights were at the top of the agenda. Um, so yeah, I use this area probably on a weekly basis, if not a daily basis. I live really close by. Since getting a dog, I've noticed the littering a lot more because the dog tends to pick up a lot more of the litter. Um, and I'm just a bit more aware of the local environment. It's a really great resource on the doorstep, but definitely the littering is a bit of a problem. I think more bins would be great. Um, I think more lights perhaps would be really useful. Um, I come running down here and in the winter it's a problem. Um, because of the lack of lighting. So yeah, definitely more bins and more lights would be great. The Water of Leith Trust has been instrumental in helping clean up the river through its volunteering programme. The conservation team goes out between three to six times per week with their kind volunteers to clear up and clear out the entire length of the river. This responsibility cannot be solely left to them, however, and a regeneration needs to come from above. So, uh, before Christmas we will have uh, a Coley Park improvement plan, so this taking all the information from the consultation, from the design ideas, uh, there's 15 unique projects within the, the park plan and also things around improving the habitat for biodiversity and the flow of movement through the site, so how the, the different users, fast and slow, might use the space. The next step really, to be honest, is funding. Um, you know, if we're going to make this plan a reality, we need the money in order to do that. Uh, we also need certain elements of planning permission, there'll be civil engineer drawings for the more difficult and technical parts of it, but basically it'll come down to money at the end of the day. It would be wonderful if people just helped us keep on top of the litter. Um, so the, this air of neglect kind of goes away and use the park, enjoy the park, think of the possibilities and feed those back to us. You know, a, a plan isn't complete until it's actually bricks and mortar on the ground. Uh, so, you know, we're always happy to get people's feedback and see what they, they, you know, other ideas they might come up with.